I have a question concerning negative motivation. Um, does the deliberate infliction of suffering upon another being with the aim of inflicting suffering constitute an act of violence? It's a kind of a straightforward question, but I think there's so many different ways you can look at it that it um, it's hard to actually answer right off the top of your head. Or, actually, it's easy to do that, but then you stop and think and you go, oh, wait a minute. So, we'd better understand what we mean when we use terms like violence and suffering and coercion and even negative motivation. Negative motivation, in my view, is the deliberate creation of a deficit or a deprivation in another individual that they must act to correct. It's not that you've motivated them towards something higher or another course of action. You have motivated them to cease the course of action that they're on by making it undesirable for them to continue. Now, do we understand or have we established the difference between a positive and a negative form of motivation? Positive motivation means you offer someone a benefit, a plus. Negative motivation means you offer the same person or you know anyone a um, deficit or a negative. They must act to remove the negative or in the case of positive motivation you must act to gain something. Gain a carrot as opposed to avoid a stick. Um, yes, mystic of the sands, I know what you're going to say, but I'm referring to essentially what is the fundamental nature of negative motivation as opposed to positive motivation.